Senior League of Montgomery will host a community grant workshop and it's happening this week. Joining us in studio with details, Community Research Chair Kate Bartlett and President of the Junior League of Montgomery, Quinita Mitchell. Thank you both so much for ah, coming in. Thank you so much for having us. Tell us about this grant workshop and how it can benefit the community. So this is a great opportunity for local nonprofits to learn about what the mm -hmm. Junior League of Montgomery's grant process looks like. And so we're going to learn a lot about basic tips and tricks of writing a grant. There's a lot of, you know, of course, writing and submissions and deadlines. So kind of what the ins and outs of that process mm -hmm. is, as well as um, give it an opportunity for us to learn a little bit about those nonprofits. We've got so many incredible not-for-profit organizations in the area that we really want to give an opportunity for the league to um, engage with those nonprofits and give back. You're all about building a better community Absolutely. here at the Junior League. Aren't you? We are, and um, we're actually so glad that we can actually partner with some of those amazing nonprofits. Um, some of the ones that we're given to this current year include um, Brentwood, Eat South, Montgomery Christian School, um, Makoa, and that list goes on and on and on. So we're interested in not only those who have been good to us and partnered with us in the past, but also looking forward to um, bridging the gap and forging new relationships and new partnerships. But a lot of people don't realize this when they support your events, like Holiday Market. <sighs> That yes. money that they are spending when they are doing all that great Christmas shopping, that goes right back in our community. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Everything we do at the League is centered on giving back and engaging mm -hmm. with the community. And so what I love about this grant workshop is it's going to give a chance to kind of get a preview of the applicants we're going to receive for this upcoming League year's grants that will eventually become the placements that our League members will actually be the boots on the ground, the hands-on mm -hmm. volunteers in the community. Not only are you financially supporting them, you donate volunteer hours as well with your members. Yes, and I think that's one of the things that actually makes the Junior League special is that when you apply with a grant with us, then you also take um, a part of our volunteers with you as well. So anything that we can do to kind of help you further your mission is what we're actually looking for. Who should attend this workshop? So any uh, River Region nonprofit can learn about what the process looks like. Um, mm -hmm. If you are a 501c not-for-profit organization, we invite you to come to the workshop. It's this Thursday from 1130 to 1. We've got an online RSVP to let us know that you're coming. But if you show up the day of, of course, you're welcome. But we're really excited to meet a lot of our local community partners and tell a little bit more about what our process for grant award looks like. How often do you take those grant applications? So we'll be taking them through about mid-August. So there's a couple mm -hmm. months to get those applications in. They'll go live on our website this Friday. But of course, if there's any questions about what the process looks like, they can always call us. I know it always feels great when you're able to hand over those checks to Absolutely. deserving organizations. Absolutely. So that's about 70,000 awarded this Imagine, year. Yes. Mm -hmm. wow. that, that's significant. Yeah. How can somebody RSVP if they want to attend this workshop? So they can go to our website. It's going to be www.jlmontgomery.org. Um, and then they can also find us on Facebook. If somebody wants to be part of the great work that you're doing there at the Junior League, how can they learn more? <laughs> so they can also go to our website about that as well. And we are taking new membership and we'll be taking new membership through the end of this month. Why would you encourage someone to join? The well, more than anything, my why has just been to connect with not only people, but to our community partners. Um, and for me, that's been the most rewarding part of what we do at the Junior League of Montgomery. It is so rewarding when you give that time and you see your mm -hmm. efforts make this community a better place for each and every one of us. Give us the details about that upcoming workshop one more time. Again, it's this Thursday from 1130 to 1, rsvp at jlmontgomery.org, and we'll see you guys there. Thank you both so much for joining us and Thank the work that you, you do us. there at the League. We appreciate it.